How is everybody out there in the YTPC and cigar world? I'm the Spaceman. I've landed in your area again. And I'm just going to do a little tobacco review, a uh, cigar review tonight. Same thing, right? This is another Durango cigar. And... Um, a gentleman on YouTube had sent me um, a couple of packs of these, and this is the other one that I did not review. I reviewed the 2010. This is the 2011. Um, this one is called um, the Blend Numbers 2011, and it's called the Fox, well, Fox and the Hound. Pipe tobacco in this cigar is Virginia Cavendish, and... The aging elements are vanilla bean. And this would be uh, from Durango, of course. Now, this is a company that is in based in Missouri. And um, they have a website where you can order all these fine little uh, pipe tobacco cigars right there. And when they say aging elements, basically what they do is they take the cigar and they after they roll the cigar they put it in a glass dome and they take elements like say a sliced orange or a uh, vanilla bean or something and they put it in the glass dome with the cigar and they let it sit in there for I don't know how long of a period of time until it acquires the uh, the flavor top flavoring from that uh, said element so let's go ahead and open this There it is, there's the cigar. And this is a uh, wonderful vanilla tobacco blend. Um, these cigars are older, so the 2011 of today is no longer this one. I believe it's toasted Cavendish with peach and something else in it, whiskey and something else, I don't know. but. Uh, the flavor has been changed for this blend number 2011 so if you go there looking for vanilla bean under 2011 you're not going to find it I don't know if it's under a different number now or not but uh, of course it comes with this Ovita pack that keeps it at 69% humidity and that's uh, quite a plus for them to do that because you could just go ahead and leave the cigar right in one of these packs and you're good to go. In fact, I might just take this uh, Bovita pack and stick it in my humidor, see if it helps or does any good. Rather than continually refilling my humidifier. Hmm. Not getting much flavor off of the tip, maybe because it's an older cigar, I, I don't know. But let's go ahead and punch a hole in this and toast it up. This is my last Durango. I've smoked all the others. A little bit on the moist side, I have to say. Light. Getting a wonderful burst of uh, vanilla flavor from the pipe tobacco already. Wow, I kind of singed that one up a bit, didn't I? Hmm. Vanilla, vanilla, and vanilla.
think I burned this one a little. It tastes a little bit like burnt vanilla, a burnt vanilla cookie right now. <laughs> Yeah, I barbecued this a little bit. But it's a nice vanilla flavor. Straight ahead vanilla Cavendish. And um not bad. Um gonna let it sit a little bit and cool off smokes a little hot it's like I singed it a little bit too much so I'm gonna turn the camera off and I'll be right back I've returned had to let it cool off a little looks like it was lit using the space shuttle booster rocket But it's cooled off now and I'm getting a nice vanilla flavor and it's just a you know straight ahead vanilla Cavendish pipe tobacco is what it is well these pipe tobacco cigars are not bad at all I don't know if they're gonna be my favorite spot not a bad cigar probably not going to give it a five star rating I don't look for that probably like a three or something like that it doesn't mean I don't enjoy it it's a very flavorful vanilla and it has a nice burn to it well <laughs> maybe I'm wrong maybe I better retract that statement <laughs> Um, not so sure how fresh the Bovita actually has kept this cigar. I'm not so sure how old the cigar is. I really don't know. I would imagine it's probably going to be a lot better if it's a newer cigar. But it was sealed in this. This was sealed, and I tore it open, and it has a Ziploc. I like the little buffalo there. It's kind of cool. And the cigar band is kind of cool. But, you know, I'm not like a big uh, aficionado for pipe tobacco cigars. Not really. I mean, if I'm going to go smoke a pipe tobacco, I smoke a pipe tobacco in my pipe. If I'm going to smoke a cigar, I smoke a traditional cigar. That's really where I'm at. So, I mean, I mean occasionally I might end up buying one of these or if somebody gives me one. But I'm not, like, really big on them. So, I'm going to smoke this down further and I'll be back to let you know how the if the flavors changed any see you in a few I'm back and I've worked my way further down this cigar and it's kind of given me more of a um, tobacco kind of flavor right now rather than the uh, rich vanilla it was giving me There's a little bit of vanilla in there right now, but not a whole lot. It's got, it has a fabulous room note, by the way. It smells really wonderful. Um, so, I'm going to remove the band. Let me see if I can save this one this time. No, boy, these bands are hard to remove and salvage it's the way they're they're glued the seam is glued I guess 
Oh well, so much for that. But we're gonna go down the cigar a little bit more and I'll be right back and I'll let you know what's going on at the end. All right, I'm back. And uh, this cigar has basically pooped out. I mean, it has not much flavor at all right now. Um, it's not going to get a good, very good rating from me, at least this one. Not much. Now, I don't know if that would have to do with the age, because like I said, it has the uh, Bovita pack in it, and it was sealed. I don't know. Um, who knows? Maybe it's my palate today. Yeah, I'm just tasting just plain old tobacco. Almost like a garage um, gas station cigar. And I'm kind of jonesing on cigars right now because I've uh, run out of them. For the month, so I got some of these <laughs> Swisher sweets. Don't know if any of you ever had any of these, but these are the old, uh, so to say, uh, the old peanut butter and jelly where you resort to when you don't have anything else to eat, right? I like peanut butter and jelly myself, but you know what I'm trying to say, right? Yeah, kind of refrigerator gets empty, so you resort to the P&J sandwich. Well, you know, that's Swisher Sweets. It's just got a mild vanilla, really mild vanilla flavor. Not much. Two for 99 cents. What can you expect, right? What I'm saying here is that this has basically gotten down to tasting like a Swisher Sweet at this point. So... I'm going to end the video here because it's probably only going to get worse the further down I go. This cigar here, I'm probably going to give it one and a half star. Really low rating. Not very good. So, that's it. And I'll catch you guys around the next corner. And happy smokes. Mm -hmm.